Next is from Soup Soup Leg Fat. Huh? Soup Leg Fat. What a tremendous name. Yikes. Rick Boog's questions. Conan, it's 1352 over here right now. I just found out you have a YouTube channel. Subbed instantly. Huge fan of your shoot interviews you've done in the past. I would like to know some stuff about Rick Boog's. Rick Boog. Do you think that Rick Boog's, while well, I'm a huge fan of him, is kind of a parody of Chris Jericho? Rick Boog's is a stuck-in-the-past, old-fashioned rocker guy, but it's done for laughs, much like Akeem was done for laughs and clearly a rib on Dusty Rhodes. I don't know if you... I don't know that. I don't know if you guys listen to any classic rock podcasts, but Jericho gets bashed a lot. Could the Boog's gimmick be WWE taking a shot at Jericho? Rick Boog's is really popular right now. His gimmick is good and his jokes land well. So do you think it's inevitable that the fans turn on him and ruin all the hard work? Fans are so cynical these days, they turn on McIntyre really quickly despite all his crazy hard work during these insane times. My lunch break is coming in about six minutes, so I can't wait to binge all over the YouTube content. Have a great day, Conan and Disco Inferno. Um, what's your answer to this, Conan? I don't know. Because with WWE, we've seen them. You know, They started with Fandango, gave them a real big push, and that went nowhere. And we've seen that happen with a lot of people. You just never know. Rick, look at Elias. He should have been way bigger than he is now, and he's boring and stale. And you and me used to big be huge fans of Elias, especially when he was doing the walk with Elias thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I, I get afraid that Rick Boogs will be a pop for two, three months, and then they'll go on to the next thing. You know, I think he's very funny. Well, and I think Pat McAfee adds a lot to it, too. And the shit he's doing with Nakamura is very funny. Um, is he a parody of Jericho? No, because he can play the guitar. Jericho's character would be like a... Jericho's like a Mick Jagger character. You know, he's like he's the, the lead singer. You know, Rick Boogs is, is like lead guitar. But right. he's a perfect character caricature of an eighties hair hair rock band. Right. This is that's now, exactly how these I don't, guys I don't, act. It's like you know, I mean seriously. I, 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 you know, I would be interested to know because I don't listen to classic rock podcasts. As a matter of fact, I don't listen to any podcast. But Joe does. Uh, Joe and Durbin and Jericho probably Okay, did. let me ask you a question, Joe. Yeah. Does he get buried on classic rock podcasts? I never heard that. The only thing I ever saw was when him and Sebastian Bach had beef, and Bach accused him of not being able to sing. And why don't you sing? You know, I guess he was accused of using voice enhancing uh, techniques right. through the mic, and right. uh, was challenging the singing contest and stuff like that. So that's really the only thing I saw was Bach coming out. Challenge a singing contest? Yeah, like do, <laughs> let's this? do it without any. It was like last year. <laughs> Yeah. And what did Jericho say? He said he would do it any time, but it never happened. You know, and that's two, those guys were friends too. So I don't know if that was real or if they were just stirring it up on Twitter. But you know, uh, that, that's the only thing I can remember where anyone right. in Jericho. But I have, I have, a, I have great news though. Did you know that uh, I'm going to return to the Talk Is Jericho podcast in a few weeks? Oh my god! Oh yeah. Well, I didn't listen to the first one. You can best believe I'm not listening to the second one. Second one is is the top Tarantino movies. Wow. <laughs> All right. Can I wait for I mean, that? You could listen. To, you could listen to that one, Conan. <laughs> no. Or you could listen to Tarantino himself on Joe Rogan. You got to pick. Uh, right. <laughs>